What's up, everyone, and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we'll be looking at the 2024 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison and the pictures that were released today by GM Authority of the on-road testing. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The 2024 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison has once again been spotted on the streets, but this time in a lighter camouflage than the previous observation, giving a much better look at the front fascia as well as a great side shot. You can easily tell just from one picture this truck will be tremendously capable. The front end does appear to have some changes compared to the regular ZR2 in the remodeled lineup. There appears to be a difference in the height of the front bumper that will allow for that extra ground clearance than the other standard ZR2. That would actually be the opposite of how it was in the previous models because the Bison front bumper actually decreased ground clearance. But the way it should be is to increase given you're spending thousands of dollars on an off-roading package. The grille also appears to be potentially more blacked out, but hard to tell if GM simply didn't dig out the front end for this test drive intentionally. The other obvious feature of this truck compared to the standard ZR2 is the extra width and seemingly height as well. And speaking of height, you can see those upgraded Multimatic DSSV dampers sitting pretty under the front end. Of course, these shocks are well known for doing a fantastic job both on and off the pavement. Here's a quick comparison of the new generation spotted today next to my 2021 Bison of the previous generation. Obviously you can't compare directly being the new one is covered up, but you can at least tell those new tires are drastically bigger than the stock tires on my Bison. It also makes sense that it looks slightly taller as it should run a 3 inch stock lift and mine only has a 2 inch stock lift. Both very cool trucks and it will be interesting to test the new generation once it's released. I will be doing a full review of my Bison and the mods I've done once it stops snowing and I can clean it off. And although unconfirmed as of now, it sure looks like this bison is rocking some 35-inch tires. And word on the street is that's in fact true, which would put this bison miles apart from the previous generation that ran the stock roughly 31.5-inch tires. You can see these tires in the road testing are very wide and have beefy sidewalls. I couldn't make out the dimensions, but they are the Goodyear Wrangler Territory tires. It makes me jealous as I own a 2021 bison, but I'm glad to see future bison owners will get the tire they deserve for the expensive package. Although not much can be seen, what is visible is very promising and bodes well for GM having listened to Bison owners of the past and actually putting out an improved second generation product. AEV knows exactly what to do to prepare a truck for off-roading as well, so you can be sure you are getting a quality product. This was a quick video guys, but there's not much to see yet. Hopefully this gets you excited if you are in the market for an off-road truck and are waiting to make a decision on this one. I'm sure you can expect a price tag upwards of 70 k though. For this given the desert boss trim on the regular zr2 can run as high as 68k but this truck could potentially be in a league of its own once it's released but as always guys thank you for watching this best car review please subscribe if not already and i'll catch you on the next best car review